According to United Nations Office for Space Affairs, there are currently more than 1,400 operational satellites orbiting the planet. They've given us forecast weather, they help helping us navigate, sending us television signals directly to our homes. But how do artificial satellites get up and stay there? We have main engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL-37 mission for the National Reconnaissance During the launch, the rocket is subjected to about two or three Gs, which means that if an astronaut was in the rocket, he would have felt two to three times his own weight. It can be difficult for them, but like astronaut Scott Kelly, the second American having spent the most time in space, told me, Well, the reason I agreed to go to the space station for a year is that I knew it would be really hard, and I was right. And that's uh, the best thing I like about being an astronaut and having the privilege to fly in space is that it's hard. In the universe, all objects having a mass attract each other. This is called gravitation. So if we release an object on the surface of the Earth, the Earth and the object will attract each other and the object will fall to the ground. Imagine you launch a ball from a mountaintop. The ball will fly parallel to the Earth until gravity actually pull it back down to the ground. Now imagine we call Hulk. Hulk will throw the ball further and further before it falls until with enough force, it will circle the Earth. In fact, the ball is constantly falling to the Earth, but its speed allows it to get away from the Earth to follow the Earth curvature. If a satellite is closer to the Earth, it must travel faster to maintain its orbit. The most common orbit is a low Earth orbit, with an altitude between 160 km and 2000 km. For example, your National Space Station orbit about 400 km above Earth and it speed around 28,000 km an hour to stay in this orbit. The atmospheric drag slowed down the ISS. To deal with it, the station fired onboard engines to make it recover altitude. There are a large number of satellites above the low Earth orbit, like GPS satellites, which serve to exchange information from space to ground quickly. Some satellites are in a particular orbit around 35,000 km above the Earth. We call it the geostationary orbit. This particular orbit is exactly at the altitude where the speed of the satellites follow the rotation of the Earth. These satellites can therefore follow the same point on the surface of the Earth and, for example, send forecast weather for country.